Hi, I'm Kim Hartwell. I'm a personal trainer, fitness instructor, and wellness blogger. My ethos is all about toning what you own. So it's all about being the best version of you and uh, toning what you own. Uh, today, we're in this glorious method garden. We've got the top down. The sun is shining beautifully in London. I've got two lovely girls with me today, Nat and Grace. We're going to be showing you a hot and sweaty hit session. We're going to be doing a full body workout in collaboration with Sweaty Betty. Okay, so you guys, starting with your full body workout, we're gonna get that body nice and warmed up. So starting with a squat, bringing that knee to your chest, squat, knee to your chest, keeping that chest lifted, sitting back like you're sitting back on a chair, and trying to keep the weight in your heels rather than those toes, and get those legs nice and working. Good, 20 more seconds here, guys. Keep breathing. Good, you're gonna keep the squat, but this time adding an overhead reach, you're squatting down, squeezing your bum when you get to the top, and opening up that front chest. Allowing that, uh, that chest to open. Squeezing your bum to get those glutes nice and switched on. Breathing. Good, 10 more seconds. Last three, two, and one. From there, you're gonna take your right leg in the air and then take your right hand down towards the floor. Bring yourself up to balance. So it's a bit tricky sometimes to just focus, come back, up to balance. Keep pushing through that front heel. I'm gonna stay on the same leg for now. And when I'm standing up, I'm keeping my core nice and tight, and I'm pushing through my heel. That's helping me to activate my glute. How are we doing, ladies? Are we feeling like that left glute is switching on a little bit? Good. 10 more seconds. You'll notice that I'm putting my knee all the way down to the ground, but just hovering it slightly. Nice and bending that back leg to get your range of motion. Three, two, and one. Keeping that right leg lifted. You're gonna take your right leg behind you this time and then just coming down with your right arm. Bring yourself all the way up to balance. So you can see that I'm extending my leg behind me, flexing in that back foot. Don't worry too much about the balance. It can be a little tricky. But what we're doing here is we're turning on your core. We're switching on those glutes. Pushing through that heel. I know you're feeling angry right now. Remember your breath will help you. Keep nice and focused. Let's go for 10 more seconds here. Five more. Three, two, and one. Nice job, let's go to the other side. To the left leg steps back, going back into that sprinter. Bring us up all the way up to stand, so notice. Coming back, bending in that back leg, coming up. So you're getting that nice range of motion. And by switching on that core, you're allowing your body to come up nice and balanced. Excellent, girls. Let's go for 10 more seconds here. Last five. Three, two, and one again, hover that left leg up. This time coming down with that left arm, kicking back with that left foot. And then bringing yourself up slowly to stand. So it doesn't have to be a particularly rushed motion. Nice, slow and steady and controlled. Keeping that balance where you can. If you lose your balance, there's no problem at all. Just come straight back into it. And your body's trying to find the balance. That's where your core is switching on. You have five more. Three, two, one. Nice job, shake it out a bit, ladies. And then we're gonna come back, going into your crawl. So we're going down one hand at a time, all the way into a plank position, holding it there. Push through those heels. Wrists are right underneath my shoulders, squeezing that bum and then very slowly bending your legs and bringing yourself all the way back up to stand. Let's 
do a few more rounds like that. Off we go. So notice when I come down into a plank position, I'm squeezing my bum, my body is like one straight long line of wood. I'm pushing back with my heels and then coming slowly back up again. And the reason I say slowly, is it's gonna help to activate your core more. So coming down, hitting that plank position, squeeze that butt, it's gonna help switch on those abs. And then bending those legs. You should feel one ab at a time switching on when you're pushing back into those hands. Let's just go for 10 more seconds here. Coming back. Last five. And three. Let's do one more, ladies. Nice job. And then coming all the way up to stand and slowly bring yourself up. Let's get those heart rates up a little bit. So just jogging on the spot. Keep breathing. Elevating those heart rates slightly. All right, now taking those knees a little bit higher this time. So we want you to think about your knees coming up nice and high and your core is nice and switched on. Adding in some arms, going up and out, up and out. So if it's like to feel a little bit warmer now, guys, almost at the end of that warm up. Keep going. Are you feeling warm yet, girls? I do hope so. Good, take it into side arms all the way up and down. Excellent, and from there we're just going into our ice skaters. So coming left to right, left to right. So don't worry about sinking too deep into this right now. We're going to be using this move a little bit later on, so we're just getting used to that movement pattern. Go for 10 seconds. Get five, four, three, two, and one. You should be nice and warmed up by now. All right, guys, time to go into the main body of our workout. We're going to get nice and hot and sweaty. So the important thing to remember with this is that we're going to be doing high-intensity exercises. So that needs to be doing as hard and fast as you like. So whatever exercise you're doing, we're going to be doing it for about 45 seconds. And then you're going to have a 15-second rest. Make sure you earn that rest, OK? So 45 seconds, nice and hard. All right, are we ready, girls? Yes, let's do this. OK, so I'm going to give you an exercise, and then we're going to go for 45 seconds, all right? First one, you're going to give me four high knees and one burpee. So one, two, three four and then coming down into a burpee all the way up again you have two choices with that burpee so Nat is going to show you the modification so you're just going to go like I just did straight back and up and Grace is going to show us a bit of a fuller burpee so you're coming down all the way down to your chest and then coming straight back up again okay ready four high knees one burpee let's go one two three four straight down straight up one two three four straight down straight up and you want to do as many of those as you can in that time period. Those knees are coming up nice and high. And then choosing whether you want to go straight down to the floor like Grace. Or just like that. It's absolutely fine. You choose your modification. You have about 20 more seconds. Let's see how many more we can do. Let's go. One, two, three, four. How's it going, girls? 10 more seconds. Keep it going, keep it going. Let's get as many as we can in that time, guys. Let's go. Keep working. Three, two, one. Rest it out. Watch for your next exercise. So next up, we're doing squat jacks. Sit low, come up high. Sit low and come up high. Ready? In three, two, one. Chest is up. Sink deep. Come up. And again, you want to do as many of those as you can. Nat is doing a variation, so she's going to do, not go so low. She's just coming into normal star jumps, so taking out the bent leg. Otherwise, you're doing it like me and Grace. Nice and low, up high. So the thing to remember is your chest is up nice and high. So I'm bending, but I'm not going over with my chest, OK? Breathe. Good, you've got 15 more seconds. Keep up that pace, girls, we're looking nice. Hope you're getting on a home, okay? 10 more seconds. Keep pushing. You have five more. And three, two, and one. Rest it out. Kick throughs next. Or you can call them break dancers. So you're coming down, opposite arm to opposite leg. 
Opposite arm to opposite leg. Takes a little bit of getting your head around, but you get used to it, okay? I'll talk you through it. Ready, in three, two, one, let's go. Opposite arm to opposite leg. And here Nat is not extending her knee, so if you want the modification, you can just keep that knee bent. The main aim is to try and get your hip down towards the ground. Coming up, one side and then the other. You can do as many of those as you can in that time period. Seeing how Grace is extending the full leg to taking your modification of choice. I don't mind as long as you're working hard. You have a bit, 15 more seconds. How many more of those kick throughs can you do? Keep going, ladies, keep going. Five more. Good, three. Should be nice and out of breath by the time you finish your rounds. Two. And one, rest it. Nice work, ladies, jumping on up. Our next one, we're going to cool down, push up, and then have a little jump at the end, okay? So we're coming down, cooling down, push up, and then crawling back up again, and jump. Your modification is to go in your knees for that push up. Ready? Three, two, one. Off we go. So crawling down, everybody. And then going to your knees if you'd like to, for your push up, all the way up to stand, jump at the top. As many of those as you can. You can see Nat is going down to her knees into a push-up position, but then you come back into that plank first. Okay, good. So I'm showing you what Nat's doing as well. So coming down, you're on your knees first, getting that chest down all the way back up, hit that plank first, and then coming all the way up to stand. Keep that going, ladies. You have 10 more seconds, so nice full body workout this, getting your upper body and lower body nice and pumped. <laughs> Five more. And three, two, and one. Well done, ladies. Jump one up. Next up, we've got a broad jump. So we're broad jumping forward. Fast feet all the way back. Broad jump forward. Fast feet back, OK? With the broad jump, make sure you push your hips forward. Ready? Let's get set. Three, two, one. Big jump forward and fast feet back. So what I'm saying with the broad jump, you're going to make sure your hips and your glutes are engaged with that jump. So the girls are pushing their hips forward and then fast feeding back. Good, as many of those as you can. Got 30 seconds. Big jump, big jump. And each time, you want to see if you can challenge yourself to go a little bit further with that full jump. A little bit quicker on those fast feet. Keep going, keep going. 15 more seconds. Oh, come on, guys, we got this. I feel ya. 10 more. Woo, five. <laughs> I can feel that burn. Three, two, and one. Rest it out. Nice work. Coming down, we've got our moving plank. You can either hold a normal plank, like Nat's going to, or if you like it a little bit more of an advanced variation, down to your elbows. Come up to your hands, elbows, and hands. Ready? Let's get set. In three, two, one. Off we go. So my elbows are right underneath my shoulders. Hands go where my elbows are. If you're doing the moving variation, like Grace, keep the butt a little bit lower, squeezing in that butt as well. And then you're gonna make sure that the hips aren't going to and from. So they're keeping nice and stable. Grace is doing an excellent job here. 15 more seconds. That's holding that flank nice and tight. Good work. 10 more seconds. Keep going, keep going. And five more. Four. Three, two, and one. Rest it. One more exercise going into those ice skates like we did at the beginning. So going from left and to the right. You can either hover your back foot or place it down on the floor. For a slight, uh, slightly easier one. Ready? Three, two, one. Let's go, let's go. So either hovering like Grace or placing it down like my friend Nat here. Good. Keeping facing towards the front of the room. Good. See if you can challenge yourself. So you're imagining that you're jumping over a log in the middle, coming from side to side, bending in that side, to side leg. Nice work, guys. <laughs> Good. You have 15 more seconds. You get a nice bit of break off this. So let's work for that. Push, 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 guys. 10. You have five. Three. Two. And one, rest it out. Nice job, have a little break, have a sip of water. 
Okay, guys, so nice work on that first round. We're going to go into another round of that using exactly the same intervals. It's going to feel a little bit tougher this round because we've already done it and you've already fatigued the muscles. That's the point. That's what we want, right? Okay, so going straight into our second round. We started with those four high knees and a burpee. Are we ready, girls? All right, let's go set three, two, and one. Let's go one, two, three, four high knees. Jump back, jump up. One, two, three, four. And how many can you do in that time? See if you can beat the last one. One, two, three, four. And with those high knees, make sure those knees are coming up nice and high. Your abs are switched on. You're coming back. And then taking that option either straight to the floor like Grace. Just like that. Looking really nice, ladies. We have 20 more seconds. How many more can we do? One, two, three, four. Keep with it, five more seconds, girls. Let's do one more round of those. Keep going, keep going. You have three, two, and one. Rest it out. Onto our next one, we had our squat jacks. So taking that bend, or just taking it into normal star jumps. Ready? Three, two, and one. Let's go, squat jacks, off we go. So remember, the chest is lifted. We're sinking nice and deep into those jacks. Or taking that star jump option, whatever you are, you're doing it nice and quickly. So we want to make sure we're earning that 15 seconds of rest. Get nice and puff by the end of it. <laughs> 20 more seconds, guys. Oh, we're getting into those legs now. Yes, girls. 10 more. I reckon that's four more jumps. Three, two, one, rest it out, nice work. Let's go down to the floor. We're going into our kick through. So remember, option for the knee, bent or straight. Ready? Let's get set in three, two, one. Let's go opposite arm to opposite leg. Opposite arm to opposite leg. I notice I'm twisting my hip. My hip's going nice and close to the floor. Coming up to the other side. And you're going to do as many of those as possible in that time. Making sure you're working into those obliques, opening up that chest. Getting that butt nice and close to the floor. Remember Nat here showing you with the knee bent. Really, really nice. And then Grace making sure to get that butt nice and close to the floor on the way on the twist. That's it, lovely. Hands stack right underneath those shoulders. So the wrist is underneath the shoulders. Let's go for 10 more seconds, guys. You have five, four, three, two, and one, rest it, lovely work guys. Come on back, We're going into our cool downs and our push ups. So either on your knees like that, or full push ups like Grace. Ready, three, two, one, let's go. So crawling down into your push up and then crawling back up all the way to the top. Nice big jump at the top. And remember with those push ups, I'd rather see you on your knees and trying to get your chest down to the ground as far as you can, just as much as you can do today and coming straight up, rather than going for the full variation and only getting a little bit of the way. So make sure you modify, modify if you need to. It's a really nice way to work on your push-ups, building the strength. You've got 15 more seconds lately, so do three more of those, at least. <laughs> nice big jump at the top. Keeping that body in nice one straight long line when you're pushing up. Three more. Get yeah, two, and one, rest it out, nice work. I can hear a little bit of puff breath, which is a good thing. You want to be working as hard as you can. Next up, got a broad jump to uh, fast feet. It's a big broad jump forward, and then fast feet back. Ready, three, two, one, off you go. So remember, the focus is pushing through that hip. So you're pushing forward, engaging in that glute, and then sinking nice and low, nice and fast on the way back. Nice work, ladies, they're doing it perfectly. And what you want to do is challenge yourself to go a little bit further each time. So set yourself a little marker. Can I go further? Nice and fast back. And again, further still. Keep going, 20 more seconds. Sinking nice and low on those fast feet back. Keep pushing, guys. I know you're feeling those legs right now. Five more. Three, two. 
and one, rest it out. Nice work, going down to the floor. We're going into our moving plank next. So remember either staying just with your straight plank if you're working on that, or coming onto your elbows, and then coming onto your hands. Ready, in three, two, one, let's go. So remember, if you're coming onto those elbows, that body is nice and straight the whole time. Even when you're going into your elbows, my hips aren't swaying to and from. They're keeping nice and steady. Placing my hands where my elbows were, and my elbows where my hands were. If your butt is slightly lifted, then make sure you cut it nice and low. So you want to be in one straight long line with the body, but try not to let that hip dip too much either. So one like straight long line. You have 10 more seconds, keep holding. Squeeze in the butt, that's gonna help those abs. Yes, lovely work, Grace. Make sure you're pushing up on one side and then the other. Keeping it nice and even. One more, three, two, and one. Rest it out, ladies, jump on up. One last move, you've got your ice skaters, and I want you to go as fast as you can and get some nice lateral jumping in there. Ready, in three, two, one. Let's go, nice big jump to the other side. Oh yeah, let's work nice and hard to finish this, guys. Good, can you jump any higher or any further sideways? Nice lateral jumps, that's it, good. Keep pushing, keep pushing, we've got 20 more seconds. Let's get some height. And remembering you can hover that back foot or you're taking it down to the ground. We're nearly there. 10 more seconds, push, push, push. I know you're working hard, guys. Good. You have five more. Four, three, two, and one. Take a little rest. Have a sip of water, good job. All right, guys, so we're being really mean. We're gonna finish you off with a finish around. So we're gonna do four mountain climbers, three burpees, and two squat jumps. We're gonna put 90 seconds on the watch and you're gonna do as many rounds of that as possible. So even if you need to take it at your own pace, it's absolutely fine to uh, listen to your body. Are we ready, girls? All right, four rounds of climbers, three burpees and two squat jumps. Finish it off, everything you've got when you have nothing left when you finish, okay? Getting down, ready for your mountain climbers. Are we ready? Timer's on. Four mountain climbers, three burpees, two squat jumps. Ready, three, two, one. One, two, three, four mountain climbers. One, two, three of those burpees, taking it straight into two of those squat jacks, squat jumps, jumps, and then coming back, one, two, three, four, starting again with those mountain climbers. And remember, burpees, you can either go straight to floor like Grace, which is doing four mountain climbers, one, two, three, four, and when she comes down into her burpees, she's gonna go to her chest to the floor. Wonderful. Or like Nat, and how I did without that chest coming to the floor, but you're just gonna do as many rounds of those as possible. So you can count how many rounds you get. Challenge yourself, something you can do at home, even with all the other workouts that you're doing. All right, halfway guys, keep going. One, two, three, four mountain climbers. Three burpees. And two squat jumps. How are we getting on, ladies? Are we feeling okay? I reckon we got this, we're good, we're good. Push, push, push. 20 more seconds, how many more rounds can you do? I reckon you might have two more left in you. Push, push. 15 more seconds, one, two, three, four mountain climbers. Bernie, last five seconds. See if you can finish up that round. All the way, all the way, three, two, <laughs> One, rest it. Nice job, ladies. Whew. Excellent work, my friends. You killed it. All right, guys, so we work really hard. Really important to stretch it out a little bit. So we're just going to take you into a little stretch section. So you're coming into your side lunge, bending on the side, go to our right leg. And then it doesn't matter where you are. You can either have your hands down, hands up, or just face on your side of your leg. Just allow that adductor stretch to take place. Breathe. Catch some beautiful air after that finish around. <laughs> oh, it smell, it tastes so good. <laughs> All right, and then walk yourself around to your right foot. And then just straighten up that front leg slightly. But keeping a slight micro bend in that right leg. Breathe. 
stretching through the hamstring. And then bend that right leg. And this time, take your right arm all the way up, twisting into that body, opening up that, arm, that chest, opening up that hip. Oh, just got quite nice. Excellent. And then just walking yourself around and then walk yourself to the other leg. So coming into your side lunge to start off with, keeping that foot facing forward, getting that ad adductor stretch, breathing. Oh, it feels nice. <laughs> Especially after a good workout, it's always nice to stretch. Some people hate stretching, but even if you do, make sure you do it, it's really important. All right, and then coming round to the left and then just straightening up that straight of that front leg. Keeping a slight micro bend in the front leg just to protect your hamstring. And then bending in that left leg as the left arm comes up this time. Excellent. Then slowly bring yourself back around to the middle. Pigeon toe your heels in slightly. And then take a nice bend, sit deep into that squat. Take your arms out in front of you and then inhale, lift your chest all the way up. Reaching through those fingers, up on those toes. We're gonna do a couple more rounds of that. Come low, all the way up. One more time. All the way up to stand. Oh, and then taking your right leg back this time. You're gonna make sure you're tucking underneath your pelvis and then reach across with that right arm. So right leg back, right arm across. You should feel a nice stretch on the side of the body and into that hip. Don't worry about going too low. Just make sure that pelvis is pushing forward. So it's nice and tucked under. I'm getting that stretch and that hip flexor muscle. Nice, ladies. Excellent, just stepping forward. Let's go to the other side. Left leg comes back, tucking that pelvis, lifting up, chest lifts, reaching over. Breathe. Excellent, they're coming all the way up to stand. Let's go into our quad stretch. So grab something if you're near something, you need it. Sometimes they say to hold your ear, <laughs> to give yourself some balance. But just bring your knees together, hips forward, pushing through my butt muscle. Activate that quad. Excellent, go to the other side. <sighs> and then bringing your arm across, relax the shoulders down, coming into your tricep stretch. And the other side. All right, last one we'll do. You're going to interlace your hands behind your back. Open up your chest. Nice chest opener. And then give yourself a round of applause. Well done, guys. Excellent job. So, so nice. Thank you for joining me, girls. Hope you had a great workout at home. All right, guys. Thank you for joining me. I've been Kim Hartwell with Foot Tone What You Own. Uh, don't forget to head over to the Sweaty Betty YouTube channel to see the other workouts that we filmed. I hope you had a lovely workout. Good job, and I'll see you soon.